Welcome back students to Software Design Architecture, Part 4 of Software Metrics. In previous lecture, we have been looking at a few coupling between object metrics. These metrics are fan out, MPC or message passing coupling, and RFC, which is response for class. I believe there are some confusions of the differences between these three metrics. Therefore, in this lecture, I would like to give an example to show the differences. In this example, we have four classes. A, B, C, and D, as indicated by the circle. The rectangle in class B indicate a method. There are three methods in class B. In this exercise, we have to find out, find out MPC and RFC of each and every classes. In class A, we have two outgoing arrows from A to B. The fan out for A is 1. This is determined by uh, finding out which other, math, which other class is involved with A, regardless of how many method calls it has. So we are just counting how many other class which is involved with A. Thus, find out is 1. MPC can be quite easily determined by counting the number of outgoing arrows. The outgoing arrow indicates a method call. So there are two method calls here, therefore MPC is 2. RFC is the total of the number of methods within that particular class, in this case, 0 methods inside class A, and the unique MPC. In this case, we have two MPCs. Thus, 0 plus 2 gives us 2. Moving on to class B. In class B, there are no outgoing arrows for the method calls. Therefore, there are no other involved class for the find out values. Thus, find out is 0. Find in, however, is different. Find in value is 3 because there are 3 other classes which are involved with B, where B is the target class. So fan in is 3, fan out is 0. Likewise, MPC is 0 because there are no outgoing methods. RFC, which contains WMC, in this case there are 3 methods inside B, plus 0 MPC of B, thus giving us value 3. Moving on to class C. Class C has only one other class which is involved with it. Class B. Therefore, find out is 1. Class C has one outgoing method call of another class which establishes coupling between C and B. Therefore, the MPC is 1. Now, this arrow, which is invoking itself, is not counted as MPC because it's not involving another class. However, it suggests that inside class C, there is a method. Otherwise, it would be able to invoke itself. RFC is the total of WMC and unique MPC. In this case, we already have one method inside C plus one unique MPC. That's the total two. Finally, for class D, the fan out is one because the other involved class with D is B, which is which there's only one. Even though there are two MPCs. Yeah? For, for a final, we just count the class. For MPC, 
there are two method calls to the same class of B. Notice the arrow is pointed to exactly the same method inside B. In RFC, there is no method inside D. And D is calling out another method, a foreign method inside class B. Note that it is unit MPC. Unit MPC means that the target method must be a different method, must be unique. In this case, even though we have, we have two method calls, but they're both pointing to the same methods in class B. So there's only one unique MPC. Thus, the, the RFC given by the formula at WMC plus unit MPC is equivalent to 1 because WMC is 0, unit MPC is 1. So that's all, folks, the differences between MPC, RFC, and fan out. Thank you for listening.